this is dirty. <sighs> what y'all doing today? Oh, yeah, there. Oh, Mr. Holistic Lifestyle, you here again. That's a beautiful thing. Did you order somebody to order Mr. Holistic Lifestyle? I mentioned you to my mama last night because we were talking about how, like, coincidences happen or whatever. And I was like, yeah, there was this man on my live and he was talking about, he was just researching natural stuff and then I popped up talking about the um, natural deodorant and stuff. Hey, sunshine, how you doing today? Yeah, I wondered if he was one of the orders that I sent out yesterday evening or if um, he was here in this year batch that I'm about to send out. I was really just checking in for a minute just to say hey to everybody and to let you all know about my sale on my website. It's really temporary um, low at this particular price for this natural deodorant, my new product on my website that I'm really um, promoting right now. It's not the most expensive, but it is the, the most natural that I love. And I feel so proud that I'm finally able to sell it to the masses instead of just to, you know, just my family. So it's on sale now. It's my organic deodorant. It is dehydrated key lime peel powder. I also have a new product called BPH Balance. And it is for the balance. It's a powder also. It's for the balancing of the vagina. You know, after you get out of the swimming pool, after you have sex, because semen is alkaline and your vagina is slightly acidic. Uh, after you take maybe a round of antibiotics, after you use an irritating type soap, the, you know, vagina becomes out of balance for those types of reasons. And so, you know, when your vagina is out of balance, your whole day is messed up. <laughs> You be walking around wishing somebody would. Lord, take this cup away from me, you know? <laughs> so I wanted to help people in that particular area. And the purpose for really all of the products that I have on my, on my website is simply because I understand that when you are experiencing dis-ease and disharmony in your physical reality, it's hard for you to meditate is hard for you to think about consciousness or whatever because you really at that time you're kind of conscious of being in pain conscious of being sick and so my purpose my passion is really helping people evolve to their higher self in the areas of mind body and soul and with that it's it's easier to evolve when you have these herbs penetrating through your skin which is the largest organ in your body creating ease and comfort with your avatar and that way your mind could be more focused on you feeling worthy you feeling abundant you feeling healthy you feeling prosperity and all the things that you need to be feeling in order to create that paradigm shift to get you into another realm in your physical reality so this is why i create these these products out of love to help the collective consciousness you know, um, even down to, to the lotions that I create to put on the body. It provides minerals through the skin. You know, it provides the necessary uh, cell salts that we need. You know, in the physical reality, we, we, some of us, based upon, if you know anything about astrology, we are lacking certain minerals. And it is because we came forth in the physical reality during a certain time or certain season. And so in the physical reality, you have to absorb these type of minerals to be whole, to be complete, to be, you know, <laughs> in your 100% of brain capacity, so to speak, in order to evolve. And sometimes you'll be looking for these things, but I got them. I got you covered in my products because I've researched this here for years. It's not something that I just thought of yesterday to do. I wrote a book about this here. These herbs and these products that I'm talking about are ones that I mentioned in my book. The name of my book is He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear. It's my personal journey of becoming. And in the book, it talks about herbs. Thou should not kill is the chapter where we, I'm talking about the herbs, you know, for the healing of the nation, so to speak. Like, right? These things are, are here. These are the reflection of ourselves. But we 
they're here to assist us in our journey because actually we at our highest potential of energy or our highest frequency we are higher frequency than these things but some of us are at our lower selves so being that we are at our lower selves we have to use these things like the herbs sometimes people even use like crystals or cell salts we use these different things to increase our frequency to get back to our god state of being so you use it while you need it you manipulate the energy from it and then you become risen you resurrect yourself in these areas and it all can start with things in the physical i understand that the physical is only point zero one percent of it all everything else is your spiritual essence but some people not connected to their spiritual some people are looking with these two eyes and they believe lo and behold everything that they see with these two eyes so if you can if you can manipulate the energy physically if you could get healed from that that sickness and disease physically then you'll be freed up and then you can operate spiritually and in and, and with ease along your journey and so that's where i come in at that's what i love to do that's the part that i like to help people with to manipulate the physical energy so they can fo focus on that 99.999 um frequency where we all stem from 100 percent of brain capacity so we can begin to move those mountains and create other worlds and other dimensions because i know i'm talking to the gods of this here reality in the matrix right where everything is an illusion where everything is really just your conscious or subconscious mind working and showing you what you're thinking all day every day so you just everybody that's here you thought me up hey thank you for thinking me up <laughs> you had a question and so on today on this live your question gonna be answered by me because you thought of the question your god you gonna have to give yourself the answer but you gonna act like the answer came through me but i'm merely just your subconscious mind talking to you i just look a little different mm -hmm. that's how this thing will so let me look at the comments you see hey pamela no i didn't i was actually cooking oh okay no 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 i i restocked so i um i was up last night late again and i made some more so i did sell out that batch but i restocked again so you're good i have some more mr um mr holistic lifestyle hey pamela tiffany thanks for the follow tiffany steve dallas and i thank you you are so welcome hey truth i'm about to i'm about to um go crazy walk dmc yeah i guess you are because i'm your reflection so if that's what you call your reflection so shall it be oh now you're listening oh oh okay oh <laughs> oh you just placed the order okay cool thank you i appreciate that yeah i was on my way to the post office to do um some of the late night ones that i uh got to send those out I feel my king is on his way. If you feel it, if you believe it, I need to be ready. Am I on the right path? You are on the right path if you believe that you're on the right path. Mm -hmm. I believe it's something that you told yourself over and over again until it became law for you. And then that law must show face in your physical reality. That's how that goes. Now you could ask me, and what if I tell you no? Nope, you ain't on the wrong path. Turn left. Now you're not going to believe them no more? <laughs> but yes, you're on the right back path by feeling it. Feeling it. By not looking outside of yourself to ask other people. By knowing it. You, would just, you just know. Like if I had a cup right here and it was on the tip of this here ledge. And I said to myself, this cup is going to fall if I don't push it back. Then a couple of seconds later, if the cup fall and I say, dang, I knew that cup was going to fall. That was something that I knew. I made it a law in my mind and nobody couldn't tell me anything different from the law that I made in my mind. And so that's what I want you to get to the point of where you don't have to ask nobody, nothing is law. I feel it, I know it's gonna happen and so shall it be. And so I could be one of them others that's on TikTok, one of the other versions of your subconscious mind where the Dalton Thomas reside at. And I can say, no, um, you need to do X, Y, and D, X, Y, and Z, book a consultation. And I can, <clears throat> I can manipulate you, excuse me. I can manipulate you when you are at your lower self. 
but I can't do nothing. I can't penetrate when you know and you won't have to ask me for nothing. And that's how I want you and everybody else to be strong in your knowing. Because anything that you think up, so shall it be. Because you're God manipulating the energy in your physical reality. And you need no one outside of you. <laughs> you don't need no one outside of you to tell you that. Ever. Okay, but you got this. I believe in you. I see it for you because even in the biblical text, I understand that sometimes we get a little low or, you know, we wobble a little bit. I used to wobble too, but this is why equivalent to that in the biblical text, they had somebody that said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. So I see where you're coming from. You believe, but help my unbelief. So here I am with the undoubting faith for you, being that two or three that are joined together in the midst, that God will be in the midst of. So I'm, I'm practicing the law of assumption for you and I see it already. In my mind's eye, I see it already. I see the happiness. I see the joy and the love overflowing. I see you embracing them. I see you just giggling. Look at the joy. Look at the love. And I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I knew this day would come for you. I've quantum jumped in the end with you where it's already taking place. So now that's what you gotta hold on to the knowing of every day, thought by thought, and let no thing separate you from that feeling because you milked the feeling. You've already touched them. You've already smelt them. You've already seen them. You know, you use your five senses and it has to come because you created it in your mind's eye and now you're drawing it to you. That's how you manipulate the energy. But you never put him above you. You never put him above you. This is about you lifting yourself up. You experiencing your joy. You looking at him, admiring you. Uh -uh. You looking at him, admiring you, telling you how soft your skin is. Letting him fill you up. Letting him take you out in your mind's eye. Hearing in your ear him telling you <laughs> how amazing you are. And how much he missed you and so happy that you are together with him. Because if you be lifted up, that's when you have the power to draw him to you faster. <laughs> Alright? That's beautiful. I'm glad you... Um... You mentioned that. Maybe somebody else needed to um, hear that too. Yeah, Miss Carla. Beautiful. Hello, Mr. Dave. I got to place my order as well. Yes, you do, Miss Ashley. You sure do. I appreciate all of y'all's support. Uh oh, I done clicked on something. God, how can I clear up my skin? I'm using sea moss and black sea oil. Well, Ashley, uh, I sell soap. Um, see, the thing about um, a lot of the products, see, you see, um, black seed oil, and I actually um, have black seed oil in here, and, you know, I've, I've, I used to sell sea moss. I'm actually currently sold out right now. The thing about it is that we got to make sure, even with those beautiful, um, harmful ingredients, such as those, that our skin is at its ascetic range. You see, sea moss is really, really alkaline, but we have to have citrus ingredients in it to bring down that pH range so our skin can be in a harmonious state of being. That's just like that black um, soap, black African soap. It is highly alkaline. Yeah, it has good um, ingredients, but when you put something alkaline on your skin, which is slightly acidic, now your skin got to work harder to get back to its proper range. And so in the meantime, in between time, it's clogging up your pores, trying to work hard. It'll start to give you a rash or something. It'll start to produce too much oils or not enough oils. Or do, it'll just wild out on you. And it's sending you a signal saying, hey, it's, it's, I'm doing too much work here. Could you, could you put a little bit of citrus? something inside of here to bring it down just like coconut oils you know by itself it's antifungal antiparasitic antiviral antimicrobial but you put it on your skin and your pores it's going to clog up your pores it is an alkaline substance at eight when your skin is roughly around five 
ascetic range. So I have a soap called Be Nourished. It is in the proper alkaline range, I mean um, pH range, slightly acidic. It has the citrus fruit inside of it. It has herbs to cleanse the blood also and the lymphatic system to drain out all of the stuff that's been clogged in. We don't, we, we undermine that lymphatic system, but when you clean it, now you have pure blood flowing through you. Now you have circulation, you know? Now you have energy. Now you're 80% of your immune system that used to be busy, worried about what you ate and all that, now it's freed up. <laughs> because everything moving and flowing right when your lymphatic system is clean. So that's why I did, created that particular product for people with that particular issue with diabetes, you know, because I'm from New Orleans. Everybody either have diabetes or high blood pressure, kidney problems in New Orleans, right? So I created that. <laughs> that so I don't, I don't have any, any medical issues at all. Don't take no, nothing at all, right? Used to wear glasses, don't wear glasses no more. Used to always have irritable bowel syndrome. I used to have that. I used to have bad acne and stuff. That's why I created this here line for my, me, my family, for my health and my well-being. So I always will be intaking the proper moisture, the proper herbs, the top, proper citrus fruit on top of me juicing and, and eating clean, what, 90% of my life so far, you know, since I went vegan, so to speak. So yeah, anyway, Be Nourished is the product that you would need for your overall skin to get it all in balance from the head to toe. That's what's going to help you. But I would still, I wouldn't shy away from the sea moss if you don't, if you choose not to, because you could also use the sea moss maybe before and after with my soap. Because the reason why I say don't shy completely away from it is because... That sea moss, if you put some on your face, I'm assuming you're saying in, in natural form, you put some of that on your face and it tightens and it helps to produce even more collagen, even though my product produces collagen also with the um, vitamin E content and the vitamin C that's in my product alone, it does that. But sea moss is still good. But sea moss is another thing that you really, we really shouldn't be having to consume every day. That's just too much of anything. It's just a little bit not you know, too good for you. Every day putting that on you, that's a bit overkill, you know? So, cause you know, just like um, it has, you know, iodine and all these different things, they, then they have two types of um, that, what they call that, the thyroid issue. They have the hyperthyroid and then they have the hypothyroid. You know, you can have too much, you have too little. And that because that's because people not being in balance with that sea moss and they doing overkill on it. And then they probably still have toxic deodorant underneath their armpit. Probably still doing toxic soap. Probably still want to do their beer and just thinking, okay, let me swallow some sea moss on top of the beer and that's going to get rid of the yeast and all that. Mm, it's about a balance with all things. Not just one thing. All things. That's what consciousness is. The lifestyle of consciousness. Yeah... Yeah, Walking D M C. Thank you for being here, Mr. Dalton Thomas. Yeah, I have proof. I'm the proof. I've saved my life. I deal with cancer patients. I don't share their names, but you, the proof is you. You be the proof. You have a shitty lifestyle in your physical reality. You the proof of that. <laughs> don't look at my life or other people's life. You be your walking testimony. Is life happy for you? Hmm. And whatever, whatever going on in your life right now, is it happiness? You created that. Your thoughts create your reality. Mm-hmm. You hiding behind no picture over there. So I guess you're hiding your shitty life over there. <laughs> That's the proof. That's the proof. Let's see. Um, what else here? I can't. Okay, there it is. There you go. Oh, Pamela said, Pamela said, I'm her proof. <laughs> yeah. Loved your video on exiting the corporate world. Oh, thank you, Ray J. Thank you. How is from different from those? How is this different from those TV pastors? Walking DMC. Let's see. Let me see here. How is it different? Because I used to be in church. I'm, I'm happy that you're here though. I used to be in church walking uh, DMC. 
I've been in church all of my life, actually, and I've listened to people in church deal with those people who love God the most, hurt so bad. And in dealing with those type of people, I, at 12 years old, the little girl, the little usher, the little treasure, the little camera girl, the little choir member, I said to myself, when I grew up, I don't want to be like those people. And so today, my character speaks for itself. My emails every day speak for themselves of the lives that I've touched. My, <laughs> my process speaks for me. <laughs> The love that I'm surrounded by, the flow that I am in, the energy that I exude, my heart chakra that pulls people to me and sends people to me to carry out the desires of my heart. That's the things that speak for me. <laughs> yeah, your, your, your empty profile picture, I guess, is speaking for you, for the nothingness that you stem from. Yeah. Let's see. It's free. Use your mind. I know that's right. Oh, the things just jumped up. Teach them, goddess. Yeah. Oh, I lost it. And it's working. Yes, indeed. I'm going back on the website. Thank you, goddess. You're welcome, Ashley. How long have you been a vegan? It's been about, um, I'd say close to nine-ish years now. Nine-ish years. Yeah. Yeah, and so I don't like putting labels on it because I used to eat crappy, you know, because everybody likes the labels and some people don't even be living the life, right? Some people like to just sign up for just, oh, I work out. But that means they just went to the gym and looked around and talked, like, right? But, um, so that's why I don't like the labels. But I will say this, I used to eat, you know, like, New Orleans people, you know, your red beans, your rice, your, your, your chit, well, no, I never ate the chitlins, you know, the pork chops and the turkey necks and the crawfish type eating, like, right? Just what they call soul food in New Orleans. And I cleaned my diet where I cut out all meat, right? And so at that point, I, I believe um, that to be maybe like nine years ago. But because now I am still evolving and I understand that all is God, I now understand that all of the things that I was eating, it wasn't really about the thing. It was about the mindset that I had while I was eating the thing. Because all of this here, these things in the matrix, all is mine. And so once you begin to understand that, you understand that you can manipulate the energy of something that is low frequency and still consume it. I'm not saying that to say that I eat pork chops and turkey necks again now because I don't. But I am saying that to say, if I choose to nibble on some meat at this point in my life, which here and there, maybe I might, if I go to New Orleans or something, I don't see any wrong with it no more. I still see my diet as still being clean because in my mind's eye, when I look up on it and I desire to indulge in it, I'm going to bless it. I'm going to look upon it as if it is giving me life. I'm going to give it life because I have overflow of life to give to it. And so I'm going to energetically increase its frequency before I consume it in my life, in my body. And it's going to be nourishment for me because being God in physical form, I speak the word over it. And this is what the Christ consciousness one was saying in the New Testament. That's why in the first Testament, the old contract, it talked about the foods that we should not eat. But when the new contract came to play, the New Testament, when the so-called Christ conscious one was there, he said, bless your food. You know, because he was teaching us how to come from the consciousness state of being to go into the subconscious. How to see not, no longer with the physical eye and begin to see again with the first eye. So, but with all that said, I don't cook meat and I really don't consume it. Because I just don't want to. But if I want to, I will. So, <laughs> but I don't want to. I normally now just juice. Right? Like uh, last night I was on live juicing. I, I eat a cookie, but I like take the cream out of it. Like I don't like sugar, like talking about. But I do have these little cookies that I do like. And that's about it. I eat mostly salads. But for the most part, um, like I have my breakfast yet. I'm sh I'll show you my breakfast. It might not look um, too appealing to you. <laughs> 
But last night I was on live. Last night I was on live and I was juicing. I had um, plums and what I had cantaloupe, strawberries and blueberries and blackberries. And this here is the pulp. This is my breakfast that, that I juiced from yesterday. So I juiced, I drunk the juice last night. That was my dinner after my workout. And I didn't have breakfast yet, but I guess it's gonna be my lunch or whatever today when I eat it. And I just drizzled some agave on it because this is fiber. When you juice, you don't never throw away the pulp, right? This is the fiber, right? And fiber should be your first meal to help you know with your digestive system getting it flowing. But that's the kind of stuff that I eat. <laughs> Unless like, you know, I got people in town and they want me to try stuff and go to a restaurant or something like that. Yeah, so. Hey, Miss Pienzo. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I needed to hear that. You are so welcome. Hey, beautiful lady. Hey, Sullivan. Thank you. The Supreme Court is gonna overturn loving. Oh, really? You ain't gonna be in love no more? How they gonna do that? Y'all listen to them people outside of you like that? Okay. Well, go on and stop loving then if that's the thing. <laughs> you have touched my life and I have, I have never had a, oh man, the comments jump. Wait, I never had a, the pleasure to speak to you personally. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hey, uh, Ashaya? Ashaya, I think I'm saying it right. Ashaya, I like that. Hey, hey, how are you? Let's see. Oh, she have changed mine dramatically. I would never go back. Oh, I'm so thankful for y'all. Okay, I see the Pope. Love this. I'll try it. Yeah, so that's the Pope. You was on the uh, live. Well, that's the Pope. And I just put some agave on there. Man, that stuff be so good. That be breakfast. And then you be full because, you know, that's the real fiber that our body be wanting instead of the little powders that they be giving you in the whole food store or whatever. It's real fiber. It's beneficial bacteria, so you don't need no acidophilus pills, the little white pills that they try to tell you that you need for the good bacteria to outweigh the bad um, bacteria on the commercials and stuff like that. You don't need that. Not when you're eating fruit all the time. And so that's what I eat. And then the agave is a prebiotic by itself. So you're naturally cleaning out your digestive system. Then I got my own soap that's moisturizing my skin and healing my skin my own natural deodorant that i'm sharing with y'all the dehydrated key lime peel powder so everything be in balance it's all about a perfect balance and so when your avatar is up to par now now before you lay down in the bed and you ain't itching and twitching and popping a Tylenol PM and all of that. Now you have time to live in the end of the wish fulfilled. Now during your day, you have time to use your mind's eye and imagination. Now you have time to be a little girl or a little boy. You have time to tap into Christ consciousness. And this is really the purpose of why I do what I do, to allow you that time, that good feeling. You wanna feel good. You wanna feel good. Yeah, if I juice a bunch of veggies, then I save the pulp to make my own broth. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, too. Yeah, you are blessed, too, divine thoughts. Yeah, do you have any wisdom to share on releasing stress? Taking a deep breath. Taking a deep breath and imagining whatever it is that you are stressed about. You're thinking about it on the inhale. And you blowing it away from you on that exhale. And every time you think about it, you're going to think about it in the beginning as it is. And then you blow it out. Then you think about it as you want it to be. And then you blow it out. You think about it in a different light. And then you think about it as if it already been resolved. And when you blow it out, that time you blowing it out and it's all around you resolved. And the breath that you are breathing, you are feeling the love or the joy, the peace of mind that comes from knowing the situation has been resolved. And you create imaginary scene in your mind that your family or somebody that know of the issue coming up to you telling you that they feel so happy that you no longer have to deal with that issue. 
They hug you. They embrace you. You remember what they had on. You remember how they smell. You remember that they had tears coming down the eye. You remember how they looked at you in your eye as if you were a winner, as if you were a conqueror, as if you were an achiever. The glow in their eye said everything to you because it reflected that you have overcame the stress of whatever that situation is. And you imagine that scene. You imagine that on your break when you at work. You imagine it when you're sitting in your car before you go home. You imagine it when you lay down in the bed. Let that be the very thing that you drift off to peaceful sleep in imagining. And it shall be. It has to by law. But if you give up, you, you doubt you, it's going to linger on. It's going to achieve greatness in you. It's going to manifest and still stress you out for all of your days. It's your choice. We can choose bondage. We can choose stress. We can choose disease. We can choose death. We can choose. We are free to choose thought by thought. So you have to be a conscious creator instead of creating by default. Instead of when you're cooking, you're slipping into being stressed out. No, no, no. You got to remember when you're cooking, I am no longer stressed. Because sometimes you get into that alpha state of being, like when you're driving, you remember all of the stressful things that happened on that particular road. No, you got to be conscious of driving. No, I'm driving and I'm driving down a highway that is stress-free. It's like jumping out, getting out of that stressful thought because it's going to recreate and you're going to give it more life. You decide what you're going to give life to. The good thought or the shitty thought. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and that's a beautiful way. And just relaxing more, being easy on yourself, telling yourself, you know, good things, good feeding things, things that you probably want others to tell you. Tell it to yourself, you know. Tell yourself things are always working out for you. And, and you know, find a long time, you know. Find the time to sit with yourself alone, with nothing on, no TV or nothing. Even if it's in a closet, go sit there. Take some deep breaths. Even if you gotta go to Walmart parking lot to get about the house, go drive over there. Go all the way in the back. Sit underneath the shadow of a tree, and just be easy with yourself. Yeah, you deserve that. Let's see what else. Hey, honey, Graham. Is money just energy? Yep, all things are energy, hard, tough, spiritual motivation. I like that. All things are energy. You you and we are learning how to manipulate those energies. Hey RJ, thank you for being here. Um uh, uh let's see, Rosvet, thanks for joining and thanks for the follow. Yeah, oh goddess, thank you. You are so welcome. Is it did I say it right though? Ashaya, Ashaya. I think I'm saying it right. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm not good with names. You um, got me crying. What are you crying about, Nubian? This message is so for me. I had a rough night last night before your live. Oh, bless your heart. Things are always working out for you, though, babe. Hey, Moo. Thank you for stopping by, Moo. Thank you for your support on my um on my TikTok. You always commenting. I appreciate you. I follow you too. Now I'll be seeing you. I like the beard. You got to try my beard oil one uh, day. Whenever you get a moment, it's really good. Moisturizing in my beard shampoo. Oh my God. I just like, I'm saying that because you're a man and, and I guess I, it's kind of like a biased remark because I love the smell of um, my um, products on men's beard. I'm not trying to flirt, but I just like it. <laughs> I'm creating what I like on men. So hey, there you go. It smells good and it really, really works good too. Oh, it's pronounced like Asia. Oh, I appreciate that. Okay, that message. I'm about to go to into nature. That's the perfect spot. Oh, to relieve stress, go outside. I didn't even think about that, but I'm in the desert. I'm outside every day. And even I'm outside, I mean, if I'm inside, it kind of feels sometimes like I'm outside because that sun ain't no joke. But yeah, nature, go sit by a tree, go ground yourself, go by some water where you can hear the water fall. Oh my God, that alleviates so much stress. Oh, listen to um those YouTubes. If you can't go outside, if you're stationary, listen to those YouTube videos. You know, they have the 432 hertz healing frequencies on YouTube. You can listen to that. 
the Shaman Resonance, Resonance, Res, Resonance on YouTube. They have that. They have, um, you know, you can find mentors or people that speak in life into you. Like, you know how you, we used to listen to church? Well, we're not into that no more, but they have spiritual leaders, you know, that say positive affirmations. I have positive affirmations on my YouTube channel also. There's so many different things. This is the music, dancing, laughing, watching cartoons. Um, even even if you can't go outside, sticking your palm of your hand outside a window and making sure your hand is being charged up. You know, the brighter part of your hand, you could charge it up really, really fast with the sun while your body is feeling the shade and just sticking your hand out there, recharging you because the sun, we're condensed versions of the sun. And so the sun is electric you know, electrifying our already electric body. is almost like putting a charge, a cordless phone on a charger, like, right? When you connect with the sun, especially if you're showing the sun, the bottom of your feet or the palm of your hand, you could do that in five minutes and come on back in and your body will be recharged all over again because that light is giving you more light. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, so it's Asia. Okay. Hey there, lovely. I thank you for your words. You are so welcome, honey Graham. Love the accent. Yeah, thank you, um, spiritual residents. Let's see, Nubian goddess. What you laughing at? I would say something. Greetings, everyone. Oh, hey, car. Is it coffee? Kofi? Greetings to you too, Kofi. I play these frequencies all the time. Yes. Oh, you do? See, that go another coincidence with us, huh, Mr. Holistic Lifestyle? You do? That's a beautiful thing. And you can just play them throughout your house. You could have them on low, even when family, they have it on really, really low. They don't need to know. They just need to be connected. You make sure that them suckers, I used to do that with my boys, make sure that they hear some positive affirmations and positive frequencies flowing through them to keep them attuned too, you know? so many different ways but um but for me mostly it's about being still and being easy with yourself and in, in, in hugging yourself and patting yourself on the back sometimes you know and telling yourself job well done you did the best you can you know because for me like my days i'll be having so many things like on my to-do list every day and so at the end of the day some things that i may have not gotten to I look at all that I scratched off on that to-do list, to, on that to-do list, and I make sure I only put a line on it all the time, and then I read through that line what I did do. I pay attention to what I did do, and even though I have some leftover things, I pay attention and I read out loud. Well, you did do this, you did do this, you did do this. I think you did a great job. I think you were doing amazing. I think you could do anything that you put your mind to. And I'm going to be easy on you because you didn't do this here. But guess what? There's always tomorrow. Get you some rest. Job well done. Job well done. Get you some rest. You deserve it. You deserve it. You know, talk to you. Motivate you. Sometimes we got to encourage our own self. Yeah. Sometimes we bring that stress on our own self too, you know? Yeah, so that's important too. So anyway, check out my website. Y'all gotta try this dehydrated key lime peel powder. I want everybody to try this because nature has the cure for everything, even for our natural deodorant. It's natural, 100% organic. They don't do, there ain't a deodorant. I know that you could actually make a tea out of it or put it underneath your own pit. That lets you know how organic this product is. Get you some real deodorant that will clean that lymphatic system. You have a gang of lymph nodes in your lymphatic system, right? It, when you clean that lymphatic system, you at the same time are purging your blood because it's help, it helps to filter your blood. And when your blood is more filtered and not thick and tacky, guess what? Now you no longer have high blood pressure. When your blood is filtered and no longer thick and tacky, guess what? You no longer have erectile dysfunction. You gotta clean the blood through the lymphatic system. You gotta stop putting toxic ingredients in these commercial deodorants underneath your own pit where your lymphatic system is where it's trying to kill toxins, but yet you're giving it more toxins, where it's trying to be in a proper pH balance, but you're altering the pH balance because you have high alkaline baking soda in your deodorant, 
or you have the order that's alkaline by itself and the creator never decided to make it acidic like your skin should be. Never decided to put citric fruit in there, which will cleanse it, purge it, circulate it, and nature gave you the product to do that. That is dehydrated key lime peel powder. It's available on my website for a limited time. It's really inexpensive. Now, if you got in your kingdom over there and you can't afford $6.99 for some natural deodorant that's going to clean your blood and let your blood be renewed so you can get to higher consciousness, I don't know what you're doing over there in your kingdom, God. I don't know. I don't know. If you don't have $6.99, God, I don't know if you're on the throne of God just yet. <laughs> I don't know. You should be able to do that for your body because your body, your avatar, you got to respect it while you're in this physical reality, in this matrix. Okay? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, coffee. Okay, Sh uh, Shante. I don't know. Everybody on different frequencies. But God, if you can't manifest 699 and get you some natural organic deodorant, that's going to help you decalcify that calcified pineal gland that's going to remove that lactic acid buildup and give you magnesium that helps you with your third eye, magnesium that helps you with that stiffness in your joint and muscles and help you sleep at night, magnesium that every organ in your body needs to function properly, vitamin C, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> hey Ray, hey McKay, McKee, you know what I'm saying, right? Mackie? Mackie, okay, Mackie. Anyway, I'm about to get, I got to go to the um, post office again because I want my orders to, you know, be shipped on time. I don't know, that's just me. That's just how I operate. I haven't been to the post office yesterday about two or three times and today this is going to be my second time going back. But I'm going to keep on shipping these orders out because I want people to get their stuff on time and not be waiting on the postal service. Hey, you is a 7212. Thank you for being here. This video was from my heart to yours. Y'all be blessed. Take care of your avatar. Put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. Booking with you shortly. Okay, cool. I ordered some more things also. Okay, perfect. I appreciate y'all. Bye, Pamela. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a good day. I'll try to get back on later. Be blessed.